watching Morning at NTV. Welcome back and many thanks for staying with us. My next guests are discussing a topic as old as Uganda's creative arts industry and its missed opportunities. Why artists need business acumen? One of them has always wondered what artists who hold fundraisers did with their money when they were still at the top. While the other Silas Biakutaga is also here in studio from Motive is actually trying to make sure creative artists have the skills to enable them to take charge of their talents. Well, gentlemen, welcome to to morning at NTV. Thank you. Silas Biakutaga right there and Andrew. Uh, yes, Andrew, how are you? I'm good. It's, I'm it's been a long time. What have you have, what have you been up to? No, let me see. Mama's well, postponed and everything. At the day <laughs> monitor, mama's, mama's <laughs> got postponed. And yes, we've been doing some morning shows, yes. but not from mm. here. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Silas Biakutaga, how are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? All right, what exactly are you doing at Motive? Would like to know. Uh, personally, I'm a product development manager mm -hmm. at Motive. Uh, Motive is uh, creating a community for, crea for creatives. Yeah. We are building talents, we are growing talents, we are building a home for creatives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Expound. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Motive, uh, we're located uh, in uh, Bugolovi, Old Port Bell Road, Plot 7, and uh, we have basically five verticals that we're working with. We have a metal and wood workshop, we have a textile factory, we have a co-working space, then we have a media house for photography, videography, and uh, we're also setting up a, a kitchen station for mm. people in the business of culinary arts, cooking, and kitchen work. All right, Silas yeah. Biakutaga is holding back the guns, but he's having something over the weekend, something huge, or more or less so. Yes. What is it all about? Yes, yes. So the motive of more or less so mm. is a function we have tomorrow. It's an event we have tomorrow, mm. um, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Motive, Old Port Bell Road, Bugolobi. And uh, it's basically, we're giving a chance to, for creatives to come to Motive, come with your products, display, an opportunity to sell as well. And uh, we're also giving Ugandans and the community out there a chance to come and see unique Ugandan products, authentic Ugandan products made by Ugandans right here in Uganda mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. The creatives. The creatives. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Andrew, comment on that? Uh, okay, I think... Significance and all? Uh, one of the very mm. first things you said when, when you were introducing, yes. you asked why uh, artists usually end up holding fundraisings. Mm. Uh, what do they do with their money? What mm. do they do with their money when they're at the top? Mm. I think what artists do with their money when they're at the top is pay bills like we, we all do. Uh, the difference between them is that most of them, when it comes to music, when it comes to films, most of them are seasonal. Mm. Like you cannot be on the top for all the time. At least you can afford to be a lawyer for a very long time and you'll still be relevant. Mm. <laughs> for the art, it's, it's that kind of- You need to keep on reinventing yourself. You need to yeah. keep on reinventing, but remember the music consumer mm. is probably 15 to 40. So people kind of grow and mm. stop listening to you, move on to other things and you're still doing music. So. At that time, they will not be making as much money. Mm. Now, the problem in Uganda is most of our creatives do not have a way of making money from their art when they are not at the top. Like, you do a song, it will be a hit, and only when it's a hit, you'll be making money. Like, after that, there are very few chances of making money. Also, comment on the emergence of more artists on the business scene. Uh, Mm. Are, what is there, are, there, are there are more artists on mm. the business in which business scene mm. maybe uh, there are more artists that are getting into businesses mm. but these are other businesses that are not the creative economy mm. which personal I think is worrying mm. and it's it tells a lot of how maybe they are not trusting the creative economy uh, we do not have systems that allow artists mm. to make money mm. from their art even when they are not performing or even when they are dead. Mm. Like um, talking about people like uh, the late uh, Naita. Like Naita gave us a lot of art, one of them being the, the there is that Choga monument near parliament mm. of uh, a bare chest child, a mother and a father. I yeah. think they are, they are holding a flag moving up, something like Indeed. that. Like they are not earning from their works mm. after their works have been maybe commissioned. They will not get that uh, extra money you would get 
like copyright mm. or something they are not getting from that mm. which i think is a very big problem and it's one of the reasons why most of them are leaving the entertainment they will collect their money from entertainment mm. and then they will try to invest it elsewhere because they do not trust this particular one mm. to actually take them forward so it's not safe to uh, look at your career as a business it is actually safe mm. if people know how to mm. if people are told how to mm. it is very safe and how can they be told when if for instance you tell an artist that the song you're releasing today can still make you money 10 years from today if we've created form ways that an artist can do a painting today and uh, maybe it appears as a backdrop on uh, in a scene of last king of scotland and they get paid for that painting they did 10 years because it has appeared as a backdrop which means your work has been used mm. like those ways those different ways artists will, con will continue mm. making money mm. beyond the time they're at the top mm. i mean think about us writers or journalists think about us as uh, creatives who are using their minds to write mm. but how many artists how many journalists or writers out there that still get paid mm. after their book has actually been out after their book has been released most mm. of the times when it's out people buy it that's mm. it mm. and yet people will still quote you in the other stories they would do they will still quote you and say your lines in movies they will still quote you in their music or they sing they will sing your lines in their songs and you're not getting paid for any of that so if we can just so copyright is not strong enough copyright mm. is not strong enough but besides it not being strong enough even artists do not know how right. it actually operates Silas Biakutaga from Motive would like to know more about the Omole so tomorrow. How many creatives do you anticipate to have? And uh, how do, what do I do to join, if I want uh, to join? Yeah, mm -hmm. um, we're anticipating to have over 100 creatives coming in. 100? Tomorrow, yeah. Right. Um, how to join? You can join through our social media platforms uh, at Motive, U-G, M-O-T-I-V, U-G. So you get there, you, you'll find a link that can take you to the sign-up page, and then you'll be, you'll be given a time slot. Um, for coming tomorrow to showcase, but also we're encouraging people to walk in. Feel free to come to Motive, um, the creatives and uh, the general public as well, the youth, come and engage with us. We'll be having a comedy as well from another comedy club, uh, mm. Daniel Omara, mm. Okello Okello, Don Andre, Agnes Akite. Um, uh, so it's going to be a fun field day. Mm. Um, that will be happening between uh, around three and five. But yeah, so walk-ins, social media at Motive UG. And we also do know that you'll be holding prototyping classes. What yeah, is yeah, it yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, we'll be holding prototyping classes. So prototyping for people that are into production or you mm. have an idea, you're mm. trying to create a product or you have a product that you're already developing. Mm. So prototyping helps you understand and do that research and test and see is a product viable. Is it, um, can, you, can, can it be made? So let, let, me get, made? let me get this straight. I have my idea, I'm at home, I've been writing somewhere, so if I go to the Omoleso, mm. there's a prototyping class to yep. help me get my idea from paper yes. into reality. Yes, 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 that's mm -hmm. it. So you get to meet with the, the Motive team, um, uh, the talent that we have on board already, and so prototyping is basically, you've been seated on your idea, mm. you, you think it works, or you, you're scared, you don't know, is it going to you know, break into the market, uh, understand your competition as well. So prototyping helps you develop I, I, that. I, I can already see s some concerns from the viewer. Prototyping classes, won't my ideas be stolen? You know, Andrew was al already talking <laughs> about it. <laughs> so like I mentioned I'm, I'm there sharing my <laughs> ideas in a prototyping class. How sure am I that when I leave, someone is not going to actually take away those ideas? No, your ideas are protected. Mm. I'm, uh, at Motive, number one, we value the creatives. We're building that community. Mm. So that, that's step one for us. Mm. Um, we have to make sure we protect ourselves and protect mm. the creative as well. Mm. So we have the, the manpower, the human resource, the talent in mm. place to make sure everything is uh, protected, uh, the legal frameworks are, are in place. So, yeah, the creative shouldn't feel threatened that their ideas will be stolen. All right, the onset of the COVID-19. But, 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 but yeah. you see, at right. the end of the day, I think someone needs to tell artists that uh, there is no new idea. Mm like each and everything you think about has been thought about by someone in just a different way mm. uh let's look at 
like I, I usually apologize for having very many examples around film. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Go ahead. let's look at, say, the Cinderella story. Mm. Like this has been told very many times there's as a Nigerian in a different version, way, there is a Nigerian version. and American version. <laughs> and other people will tell it in other Philippine way that version. that will not even include yes. a shoe or something get lo <laughs> getting lost. But they will still be telling the same story. Like mm. if you look at all the telenovelas we have, they are basically retelling the Cinderella story in a longer form. So mm, the, there is no completely new idea. Mm. So I... I don't really under I hate it mm. when most creatives sit back mm. sit back and get a f be afraid like this has of been done already sharing things uh, because they, the they are afraid that someone will steal their ideas mm. like there is no new idea and whatever idea you have all right besides me, ideas being stolen what do you mm. think are some of the other challenges that creatives grapple with on a daily basis um, for a country like Uganda I think the biggest challenge is uh, the lack of policy. Mm. I usually hate it. Ah, now this is becoming political. But <laughs> I usually hate it when some people invite a few artists and probably give them uh, a new car and then tell them, like, yeah, I'm going to build your studio. And you're thinking, like, what you're going to need at the moment is not a new studio or a new camera for someone to shoot a video. Mm. Like, we need policies that work. That we need, protect we need the work after it's that done. That are going to mm. protect the work after it's done. Amazing. We do not need new cameras to shoot new videos. We do not need an expensive studio to make music. We need policies that are going to work for us. That if my us. music plays in that Nigeria, I'm going to benefit. That if my music plays in Nigeria, I'm going to benefit. Mm. Or policies that are going to protect you that when... In Nigeria is performing mm. in Uganda and at a Ugandan artist is not losing an opportunity mm. like we need such policies so all right I would say the biggest issue artists are grappling with at the moment is the lack of policy Silas Biakutaga some yeah. of the creatives you talk to what are some of the challenges on the tip of their tongues um, uh, from a creative side mm. um, I think number one is uh, collaborating and working in isolation. I see. Yeah. Sitting it's back at challenge. home, yeah, yes. and, yeah. Uh, you know, working in that nook mm. and it's a box. sticking to yourself, yeah. Mm. Um, you, you, might, you might be trying to harness the power of the social media and have a few followers, you get a few likes here and there, but then you, 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 you get lost in that, mm. yeah? So that's what, that's what Motive is here to do. We're trying to build that house that people can come to, collaborate, mm. meet other creatives, pick up ideas, you know, share with other people and just be able to get out there. And so many people are just uh, mm. sitting back and afraid because, I mean, Motive is now the biggest maker space in East Africa. Mm. There's nothing like that before. The Omole, so Silas Biakutaga, do you think it is an opportunity for the powers that be at the top echelon of the presidency to actually <laughs> take artists more seriously? Yes, yes, I think it's a step. It's yeah. a step. It's a, it's a journey where we're, we're walking. Mm. It's not going to happen overnight. Mm. We're, we've been patient. And we, we need to continue being patient, but mm. this is basically one of the steps that we are taking to, you know, access that, that higher power. Like it's okay, so I talked to Silas <laughs> about how the Omolesa could be an opportunity for the powers that be to take artists more seriously, but I could pose this in a different way for you, mm. Andrew Kagwa. What should be done by the creatives to be taken more seriously by the powers that be? Wow. What should be done by the artists? I think mm. they've done everything mm. from dancing to from dancing for the powers that be, making <laughs> bogus songs Indeed. for the powers that be, and uh, they did not to notice them because they do not understand them. Mm. Uh, but one of the things I think artists should do is show their worth, mm. not talk about their worth. Indeed. What I mean is I like that. Mm. We, we create... And our works get consumed elsewhere. Mm. Th there is a contribution we are doing. Mm. There is a contribution we are making towards the GDP and all those numbers they keep talking about. But we keep talking about that number, mm. but we do not show it. Mm. What if, for example, what if Motive can tell us we are employing this kind of youths mm. because Uganda has an issue of unemployment, mm -hmm. especially among the youths. Indeed. If we can get to understand motive is creating this amount of opportunity, maybe that's the language they can understand mm, mm. more than when we come and say, like, mm. yeah, we are representing Uganda when we go to the BETs. Mm. We are waving Uganda's flag high. Like, maybe mm. they do not understand that. Maybe they do not even care about that. Mm. But if we 
tell them we are actually solving one of the problems you failed to solve. Mm -hmm. Like it's true they failed to solve unemployment. All right. Mm -hmm. With this last minute that is remaining, Salas Biakotaga's encouragement or advice to the creatives using that camera. All right. Mm. Um, uh, creatives out there, we're encouraging you to come out, step out, step out of your shell, step out of that nook that you're hiding in. Come to Motive. We're building a community for creatives. We're making a future. Tomorrow, Saturday, 27th, um, uh, from uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., we have a uh, Motive or More Lesson happening at our offices, Old Port Bell Road, Bogolovi. Um, come one, come all, bring your friends, uh, bring our community. We're encouraging also people out there that are interested in uh, buying, go seeing uh, authentic Ugandan products. Um, yeah, come to Motive tomorrow. Follow us on social media uh, as well at Motive, U G M O T I V U G. That is Silas Biakotaga. He was not alone. We also did have Andrew Kagwa. He's a creative artist with the Daily Monitor. Many thanks yep. for having made the time to actually talk to us.